Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we get a few very interesting physique updates of some top Olympians and as you can see we are starting with a Nick Walker physique update and yes, it is under the same lighting like the previous update and I said in that video I wish he continues to use this same lighting, this same spot because the shadow here is looking really good you can see exactly what is going on with his physique, with his conditioning you can see those details, you know, you can see the hardness that is getting better and better with each physique update and now you can see it very clearly now when I saw this photo, when I saw this physique update I was like, damn, this guy might actually pull it off like he might actually win the freaking Mr. Olympia because that's how freaky he looks in this photo. I mean, who has this kind of freak factor? I mean, who who's going to be more conditioned? Who's going to be bigger? Who's going to have more dense muscle? Who's going to have freakier body parts on that stage than Nick Walker? This guy has a lot of things going for him. But then again, like after Spain after the incident in Spain, I don't know what to think anymore. I mean, if they are looking, if they chose, re if that wasn't an actual robber, if it wasn't politics, if they didn't pick Regan because he's going to promote Olympia more, let's say they chose him because they liked his physique more. Well, if that is the case, then they chose Regan because he's taller, you know, he's a bigger man, has a, like a bigger frame, bigger structure. And he has like an aesthetic shape, an aesthetic structure, classic lines. So if that is the criteria, if the criteria changed for some reason all of a sudden and that's the criteria, then what chances has Nick Walker against Samson Dauda? I mean, Samson is much taller than Nick and like has a lot of muscle as well. And he has those classic lines and like beautiful shape, beautiful structure. Nick is much more muscular, much more conditioned, has that, you know, conditioned, dry, dense muscle, just like Nathan Diasha, only a level up. So if what happened at Spain was legit, and the judges really thought that Regan was better, then I guess Nick doesn't have any chances at the Mr. Olympia, but we all know that that show in Spain was a mistake, uh, there was a mistake in judging whether it was politics or just unexperienced and like not very knowledgeable judges. I don't know what the hell happened, but what happened didn't make sense. It's not the new criteria. It can be. If you talk about where Nathan would place the Mr. Olympia, I mean, I, I, I made a poll you can vote, but I made it with a purpose. I wanted to show you that the majority of the people will agree that Nathan is a top 10 material and Regan Grimes is not. To be more precise, me personally, I see Nathan placing somewhere around 8th and Regan Grimes, I see him somewhere around 15th, best case scenario, so that, that's, that's how I see it, that's how I rank them, I mean, I understand having Regan Grimes at a Mr. Olympia makes sense, I'm happy that we're gonna see Regan on a Mr. Olympia, but was he supposed to win? In my opinion, absolutely not, but... <laughs> enough talk about Regan and, and Nathan and Spain Pro I was supposed to be done with this topic but I guess I can't let it go not just yet man I really believe that the judging in IBB is fair especially lately and I wish they gave us some sort of an explanation I actually had a dream the other night uh, in which they actually gave the victory to Nathan they corrected a mistake they gave him the trophy afterwards would you believe that that's how how upset I was after this but it is what it is let's let it go let's focus on what is happening right now that stuff is in the past Nick Walker once again can he win the Mr. Olympia that is the question well considering that this is actually seven weeks out and that he's this big I think he's in his high 270s that's something he said on a podcast with Guy Sesternino. I think he's like 279. So 280, guys. 5'7, 280. Shredded. Shredded. I mean, look at the lower chest. When you have those freaking details, those lines, I mean, that kind of granity look to the lower chest, that means you're in a really good shape. And again, seven freaking more weeks are left. So he is going to be rock hard and this heavy, that means he's going to be really big 
and he is going to be such a freak that I don't know if the other guys can handle the freak factor, but we'll see. I think it is very, very possible for Nick to win this show, and I can also make arguments for another five guys, which is exactly what makes Mr. Olympia 2023 so exciting. There are like five phenomenal guys, maybe even more, who can actually pull the win. And that's what's so exciting, I can't wait to watch this show because I have no idea who's gonna win and everybody's looking super impressive, especially right now at 7 weeks out. Well, I mean everyone except for Samson Dauda. Samson Dauda looks very soft, but everybody looks very very soft at this spot. I mean this I think uh, MPC or IBB Pro League uh, headquarters. He went, I think, maybe less than a week ago with Fu Arabia. They went over there. He did some uh, posing practice. They, they corrected some of his poses. From what I heard uh, from Milo Sharchev, they actually changed. I mean, Jim Mannion changed some of uh, Samson's poses for much better, as Samson says. He says that some of his poses are much, much better now. So once again, everybody who comes here and does a uh, posing at, at his spot, they all look horrible. This is like the worst lighting in the world, right there at the MPC headquarters. If you happen to be invited, go there, pose, but do not film it. Do not do that to yourself. I mean, Samson was filmed, but he didn't post anything about this. Not a single photo, not a video on his social media, which makes complete sense. I mean, we all saw a couple of physique updates that Samson posted on his social media under, you know, some decent lighting. And he looked way more impressive. This is like too bright. It washes away all the details. All the shadows are basically gone. But you can see actually, you know, the video quality is pretty good. So you can actually see like the details. You can see that like the thinness of his skin. And you can see that he's in a really good condition. And we all know that this guy is massive. Like seriously massive. He's dwarfing people left and right. I mean, whoever stands next to him, no matter how big they think they are, they get dwarfed, you know, even Andrew Jack at the Iron Classic, if you pay attention, like, he he's one of the biggest bodybuilders today, uh, I think he competes at like 280, 290, uh, but Samson is shorter, and he competes at like almost 300, so, like, Samson is definitely the biggest freak of them all right now, maybe Nick is bigger pound for pound, you know, he's much shorter, but nobody is this freaking massive. And once again, you can see the conditioning here. You can see that he is in a pretty good shape. At, I think this is like at 8 weeks out. So yeah, he is going to be ready, no doubt about that. Uh, hopefully, finally, his glutes will be in. Do I think he changed anything about his glute separation? I mean, it's really hard to say at this point. You guys saw that video, that, that comparison video of his back before the Arnold Classic and before the Mr. Olympia now, and you can see that he grew. And also at the Arnold Classic, his glutes showed more details than at the Mr. Olympia last year. So I am expecting him to have more details in the glutes, and I'm expecting him to be overall much bigger and probably in better condition. So does he have a chance to win the Mr. Olympia? Absolutely he does. He actually has very big chances. I mean, he's probably like the second guy that I would bet on. So at this point, the way I see it, I think it's gonna be Derek Lansford, Samson Dauda, Nick Walker, and then Hari Chopin, and then Brandon Curry, and then probably Andrew Jack. And that's my top six for now. Why do I have Hadi in fourth, our current reigning Mr. Olympia champion? Well, that's definitely a question for a separate video. If I get into that right now, this video is going to take too long. So in another video, we're going to talk about my Mr. Olympia predictions. But now, as far as Samson Dauda, once again, how does he look at eight weeks out? He looks phenomenal. It really looks like he's bringing something insane to the Mr. Olympia stage. Can't wait to see the newest version of Samson Dauda on that stage. Oh, and yeah, do you guys know Rubio? I mean, you probably know him as the Nexilla, but also he's a really good freaking bodybuilder in the other IBB, but he's making a transition. He's actually coming to the IBB Pro League. He's gonna try and turn pro at one of the shows, I think, in Germany. 
in I don't know how many weeks. Apparently his conditioning is not looking that good. But this guy is a freak. I mean, look, look at those freaking legs. Look at those freaking quads. What the hell? Look at this from the side. I mean, the hamstrings and also the quads. Like, this is looking insane. This reminds me a lot of Carlos Thomas Jr. Only bigger. Only much bigger and freakier. So this guy, as you can see, he's not a short guy. Like, he's a big guy. He's a really freaking massive guy. Uh, his upper body is probably not matching. I mean, his neck is not matching anything. Even though he's so massive. I mean, yeah, maybe his neck is matching his quads. Uh, so, like, he doesn't have, like, the prettiest structure ever. But he does have some freak body parts. He has a freak factor for sure. Especially those freaking legs. As you can see, the back could be, you know, wider. He could, I mean, he is definitely going to get more condition. He is not uh, ready for the stage. This is just a guest posing. But look at the freaking legs. What the hell? This is looking insane. It's looking like photoshopped. I mean, upper body, it doesn't really flow that well. Like, Carlos Thomas Jr. has a much better flow. But, like, I don't know about his legs. Like, his legs are looking freakier than those of Big Ramy. Look at it from the side. Wow. Wow, insane, what a freak this guy is, I can't wait to see this guy in, in IVB Pro League, as you can see so many guys from the other IVB or IVB Elite Pro are coming over to the MPC and IVB Pro League, and I know why that is happening, because, you know, IVB over here is just, you know, very, very bad, like, it's falling apart it's not gonna be a thing i think in a couple of years so everybody is jumping ship right now we already have michael Krijo. uh i think andrew jack was also supposed to compete over there they tried to get him they didn't get him Guduito is also from the other IBB, but he transferred to the MPC already, and that's about it as far as like these top guys, I mean I know a whole bunch of other guys who are moving to the MPC, like myself for example from the IBB, but as far as the top top guys, I think that's pretty much it, they don't have anybody else, so this guy when he leaves, and I mean he already left, they don't really have any real bodybuilders. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to seeing this guy in IVB Pro League, that's where he should be, this, this freak, you know, he should be over there where the best of the best are. But you guys, make sure to leave the comment down below and tell us what you think of his potential. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this. And if you guys want to go one step further, you can support me by trying some of the old school lab supplements. The link is down below in the description of this video. But make sure to use the code EVAN, which will give you a 15% discount and it will help me out a lot. So thank you guys so much. All the best and bye bye.